Hi everyone. Very good morning. I'm Shubham, a technical and career consultant. And today, firstly, I would like to welcome you all to our webinar, which will talk about how to earn 10 lakhs as a Java developer, make the best career move. So first of all, a very good morning and welcome to our session. I would like to see a quick, yes, if you can hear me clearly and see me clearly. So quickly respond in the chat section, if you can hear me and see me. Fantastic, fantastic. So we all are connected. Happy to see responses coming up with this wonderful pace. Great. Let's get started. So today in this upcoming 90 minute session, you would be walked through different aspects of Java profession, how you should go about it, what all things you should take care of and everything like what is necessary in terms of learning and making a career in Java. I, I will have a special guest, a speaker, an expert from Java profession who is himself working as a senior software developer. He's in the United States as of now, and he is, he has joined us already here for this wonderful session. So I'll just give you a crux of what all things we're going to learn today. So firstly, we'll learn about the code, about CodeGen and its global impact. We'll also understand the in-depth things about Java developer profession. We'll understand about earning potential as a Java developer. Then we will explore the Java developer perspectives. I suppose someone is using the affinite function. One second. Hello. Can you guys hear me now? Hello. If yes, please respond yes in the chat section. Yes. Okay, cool, cool. Fantastic. So I'll just keep my participants here. Yeah, we have Paresh with us now. He has already joined in and let's get started. So as, I, as we were discussing, <clears throat> yeah, hi, Paresh, good morning. So let's get, let's continue with what we were discussing. So then we will explore about is online education effective. Then we'll understand why code gym is the best choice. We'll explore what is the curriculum, what are the features and who are the mentors. Then we'll have a hundred percent job guarantee, how it works. We'll walk, understand its different aspects. And of course, we will also understand some success stories in terms of testimonials. Uh, one important announcement that I would like to make for all of you, whoever will be with us for the next 90 minutes, will get a special exclusive discount offer. So stay tuned, feel free to ask all your questions in the chat section. We all are there to answer all your queries and help you to make a career in Java. And last but not the least, we'll understand how can you enroll at CodeGen. So I want you all to have a wonderful learning experience. We have experts with us. Our team is there to support you. I am there to answer all your questions. So let's get started and feel free to ask any questions in the chat section. We are there to answer it for you. Arpan, I would request, please do not use that annotated section. Yes. So just to introduce, I am Shubham Dumre, technical and career consultant. That's my LinkedIn profile link, which you can see at the bottom. And we have with us Mr. Parish Shikhalia. He's a senior software engineer with 13.5 years of experience in uh, software development, software engineering. And here he has a wide expertise in Java. He has worked in uh, different positions. If you check his LinkedIn profile, it is full of experiences. And I'm really, really happy to have him with us today. Hi, Paresh. Would you like to say something here? Hello, everyone. Great, great. So uh, we'll explore Paresh's journey in some time. Just before mm. we move on. Yes. For the best learning experience today, I would firstly request all of you to switch all other notifications. Probably if you have any uh, Facebook, Instagram notifications and all. Kindly keep your mic on mute for no disturbance. I would also request please do not go for those curves or annotate uh, uh, options that you are able to access as of now. Uh, it won't, it would disturb the learning experience. So it's a humble request. Please do not disturb the flow of the session. Please put your, all your queries and responses in the chat section. The chat section is open for all and we're there to answer all your questions. So do, do not worry. All your queries will be answered by us. Make notes for reference. If possible, make a note and uh, you could write down some important points that we have in today's session. Participate actively as the ones who will be active till the end. As I said, they will get a special exclusive discount offer from CodeGen. 
and one important thing that we all like to do we have we like to share it with the communities we like to share it with the friends and family so click a screenshot of any screen during the session that you like that you feel is very important and you can share it on your social handles like linkedin instagram facebook whatever you guys use uh, and you can use hashtags like live webinar java developer code gym that's just to like connect with uh, talents across the globe all right so is everything all set guys are you with me are you with me guys uh, if yes please say yes fantastic thank you for that uh, update anurag i think now i am clearly audible great great let's get started so uh, in order to like energize and in order to break the ice let's have a very short uh, activity to break the i to act it as a ice breaker so firstly i want all of you to answer all these five questions in the same message like your full name where are you located what's your favorite movie or web series do you like traveling and are you currently studying or working so just keep all these answers in one single message and put it in the chat section i would request put all your answers in one single message just like i am doing right now yes yes something like that yeah yes so you can answer in this pattern how i have answered it oh fantastic so we see people travel nice working as an associate java developer fantastic we have some people who are already working in java sherlock holmes nice oh <laughs> fantastic <laughs> parish which uh, movie you like specially i i like the like indian movies and like uh, i generally all indian movies and south indian movies too plus i love bollywood and hollywood movie too much fantastic fantastic we see amazing responses coming up and that's good to know that people have so diverse experiences wonderful choices in terms of movies in terms of the profession we have an automation tester here abhinay fantastic that's good to know thank you first of all guys to all of you for making it on a sunday morning i know sunday is generally a relaxed day but uh, to learn something we need to spare some time out of our regular schedules that is the reason we have it today okay okay wonderful so i see ample amount of responses coming in that's good to know and this has tested that yes our chat section also works completely fine so i would also be waiting for your questions which would be related to this particular sec a course or probably the profession so fantastic let's move on now i'll just brief you about code gym so who are we exactly so code gym is a large international edtech company that specializes in training java developers in training we focus on giving our students fundamental skills and preparing them for employment so now you could check all these details of course on the website and all to just brief you out code gym is on a mission to uh, excel and create wonderful java developers who could fill in the gaps where uh, industry is in need of one more and more java developers but there is a skill gap that has actually been observed in the java industry and code gym is like trying its best to fill in this gap by providing skilled and experienced java developers trained java developers that could fill in those gaps so code gym is acting like a bridge between companies and the talents to like fill in the gap between java developer profession so you can just check out all the details on the website codegym.cc my colleagues would of course post it in the chat section so codegym is an institute an edtech company that has trained many international students and in coming time in some time ahead we will also explore some wonderful stories of people who have learned and made their career with codegym yes to just like sum it up in terms of numbers we are the number one edtech company for learning compute science principles and java programming from scratch secondly uh, we are active since last nine wonderful years so we are in the market since last nine years and we have impacted 40 plus country students so we have students and learners from 
across 40 countries and not every student is just a graduate there have been working professionals also who wanted to switch into the java industry or probably go for some career switch so we have a different personas of students who have learned from codesim and who have excelled in their careers we as of now have 30k plus graduates and 1200 plus hands on coding java coding tasks so if you go through our course you would find that we believe in one principle that is practice constant practice and attention to detail is something that we actually advocate and that is the reason we have ample amount of exercises for you we have mentors to support you we have a wonderful robust support team to help you out with all your queries and doubts of course we have assessments to test your uh, like examine like how much you have grasped and all but uh, that's how the whole thing would go and we have 95% of our the success rate is 95% as of now of our graduates have found their job in the very start like mostly if you check out the statistics for other ed techs i don't want to make it like a comparison but this success rate is really really wonderful because 95% of people who have trained and who have learned have got a job or have excelled in their career so that is a wonderful thing to know so our mission is to transform 1 million people in java developers to just sum it up and yes you can receive a salary till 10 lakhs if you are like very new to it you can go do it so trust in yourself trust in your efforts and yes let codenim take care of your mentorship so this is just a graph to like showcase where all we have impacted our students and this is a short video that could walk how the codegym platform actually works so just a 30 second for you now how to learn the java programming language if you are a complete beginner Try Codegem, an interactive online course based on a practical approach to learning. Here you'll find 1,200 plus practical tasks with instant solution checking and recommendations, so you won't get lost while facing real-world programming. By practicing on Codegem, you'll become a confident Java developer with real coding experience. Sign up today and start learning Java with Codegem. So, does this sound exciting to you, to you guys? if yes please uh, like say yes in the chat section i think i am clearly audible come on yes so this is codegym you can just google codegym right now or you can of course find the link codegym.cc and check out what it is but yes firstly listen to the webinar because it has a lot of details about the java profession and i know that you all are here to understand mainly what is java and how to can we make a career in java probably if you are at some senior stage you are here to explore pro, uh, senior opportunities in java so of course we'll explore all that codegem has a global impact as i said so there are different uh, like on dif on the social media or probably in the news you must have found so many articles that evolve around codegem probably uh, you can check this later now i would firstly like to hand it over to paresh who, who will help us to understand how to start a career in java so paresh uh, over to you man oh thanks thanks subham hello everyone so as subham mentioned like uh, how to be a skilled java developer and uh, nowadays before i start introducing myself let me uh, make one thing clear is that skills required when i say skill skills required that doesn't mean uh, that does mean like you don't need to be a graduate or you don't need to be a master from iit i am no you don't need you just need a skills to crack the jobs out and uh, as per my experience uh, nowadays in united states company most of the company have start hiring the people who came from the boot camps so yeah that's the first thing first line and then now let let me start my myself uh, with a little bit small introduction i am parish shikhalia i have around uh, more than 13 plus five years ex ex experience in java tech technology when i say java tech technology i got an opportunity to work with like spring spring boot hibernates and java's babies like kotlin scala python um, you can name the technology i have worked upon and um, apart part, apart from this technology i have worked in different different dimension dimension and domains when i say domains i i got an opportunity to work with the consultancy companies like uh, tata consultancy service then I'll, i also got an opportunity to work with the giant financial uh, banking companies like uh, goldman sachs and city banks then currently i'm working in product based companies which is walmart so i have crossed like 
every Java developer has a dream to cross three layer, like one is consultancy layer and one is the financial banking and third one is the product layer. So I'm lucky I have crossed all this th uh, three layer right now. Uh, Subham, can you move to the next slide, please? Yeah, definitely. I'll just share it again. I had actually. Yeah, so next slide we're gonna show you like, uh, which are the basic technology we need as an um, Java developer to work with uh, good employer and good organizations. And uh, before like uh, Subham starts sharing screen again, I wanna add one more point here is like, uh, you, you, you can be a Java developer, but uh, you that nowadays it's also called the uh, software backend software engineers. So when we say backend software engineers, Java is the uh, hard to develop any backend software uh, softwares which will run during the backend system will accept the uh, queries from the UI. So <clears throat> you guys can yeah, Subham. Yes. So uh, as I had like highlighted at the start, also feel free to ask your questions. We have our expert here already in the house and he will he and our team of course will answer all your queries so thank you yes, Parish, for like uh, giving them that of uh, understanding that yes there are ample amount of opportunities in java and yes we will explore it in terms of the different aspects so Parish, over to you yeah so these slides contain the list of technology which any backend software engineer required irrespective of its from the Java terminology or it's from the Kotlin or Scala. These are the primary skills any backend software engineer require nowadays in the market. And this is not only a skill, this is like a career opportunity. This, if you learn all these skills, um, as per my understanding and my experience, your career will be bright. But when I say learn skills, you have to learn skill. You just know, you cannot just pass the exam and go and just get the certificate. No, it won't. Nowadays, Google, Facebook, Amazon, Walmart, Namura, Goldman Sachs, all are hiring the skilled worker. When I say again, I'm I'm gonna repeat the same line again. When 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 I say skilled worker, that means you will be you should be able to deliver the project on time with like all the phases to cover. When when I say phases, that means you start phase start from the requirement gathering to the deployment to the production. Those are the phases you have to get the skill about it. Once you get the skill. I think most of the company are ready to hire you. There is no problem. And one more point I had here, like after 2019, there is like totally, the employment era is totally changed. Like even US company, European countries now start offering the job opportunity to the people irrespective of where they are located from. They can, they can work from anywhere in the India. They can work from Afghanistan. They don't care. They just care about the skills. And I think Code Gym is the right platform to develop and to sharpen their skills. Uh, thanks, Subham. I just wanted to hand over this to the next slide to Subham and he all will take right. care. All right. All right. Thank you, Parish, for giving them that thought that remote working is also one thing that is gaining a lot of traction. And uh, yep. yes, guys, you can be uh, situated in some remote uh, place, like in, in probably in a village in India or probably in a city in India, and still you can work for countries, a, a couple, you could say companies and countries which are like way beyond your boundaries, but that is possible. And yes, uh, trust in yourself, trust in your efforts, uh, get driven towards what you want to be and uh, everything else will start happening as per your way. So earning potential as a Java developer, that is one major question that how much will I earn if I become a Java developer, right? So that is a one, that is one question that always pops us into our mind that, oh, okay, like how much will I earn? So the pay, as you can see, it is, it is like K would represent thousands. So the graph is ever growing. It depends upon the kind of experience you have an entry level, mid career level, mid career and late careers. Of course, these are the stats. I have Parish to explain you about the dynamics of this profession. And he will explain about how salaries can range and can exponentially grow in Java profession. So these are some statistics that we have gathered in terms of the pay scales. So there is ample amount of money that is available in Java. And uh, Parish, uh, I would, I, I understand that you have worked in this industry since last 13 years. So you must have seen all those phases, right? From the very start to the, uh, like the growth phase and now in a, on a very senior designation. So how has the sa salary cycle actually grown for you? Yeah. So the data represented here is, I think this looks correct to me and uh, it's average data, but I just want to add one more part here. Uh, it depends on the location where you are working. Say, for example, you are working in somewhere in Middle East and somewhere in uh, Europe and maybe somewhere in US, any state in US, your salary will be varied from the location to location. 
But nowadays, again, remote come into picture, CLD will be maybe the test structure down the line after two to three hours. But I want to add this CLD structure. I want to divide this CLD structure into three, three categories. One is like in, in terms of employment category. One is like consultancy service. Second is the financial service. And third is product-based company. So when I say consultancy service, that means like Wipro, TCS, those are the company can offer this range of salary which you are presenting right now. But I don't think the I don't think so. Like the bank will offer uh, way beyond the salary listed here. Bank can the range of the consultancy service in United States. I can I can say that experience like uh, range of the salary they offer, especially TCS, Cognizant, and Wipro in United States from like uh, around. 80k dollar 80 80k dollar to 100 110k dollars once you move to your to the once you are move yourself to the next level maybe your next level will be financial banking system like jpmc goldman sachs namura citibank those 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 banking are currently offering like around 140k to 200k dollars that's amazing because banks banks start offering now, nowadays and believe me all banks I don't know any bank we are who are not using any Java technology. They totally depends on Java technology. Their legacy system develops on Java technology. So they do not have any choice. They cannot move their larger software system one day into other technology. If, if new technology come and it is famous too. But yeah, so Java has a full dependency in financial domain. Third category is the product-based company, which I can classify like Amazon, Walmart Lab, uh, Facebook. Those are the company which offer around 250K to 500 500k so it depends on your expertise and your senior level so one more thing i want to add here is nowadays when i joined in 2008 like it was like based on your experience how many years of experience you work and based on that experience your you will be offered the salary but nowadays they don't care like product company don't care how many years of experience they just care about your skill if you have a three years of experience they can offer you senior software engineer post so that's you have to prove yourself so the number of year, year, year section is just a paper now. It, they don't care. So yeah, that's what the salary range in United States now is. Thanks, Ubo. Thanks, Parish. Thank you again for like clarifying that, that uh, it has a wonderful potential. And uh, yes, I would like to uh, quickly like see how many questions we have in the chat. I see there are some questions which have come up. So one was that is a skill gap. Like uh, Parish, one question which uh, a candidate has asked, is that uh, if I have gap in my career, will I be able to work in Java? Like that, some on those uh, lines. Yeah. Ah, uh, very good question. It's really, really good question. Actually, one of my friend's wife was pregnant, and she took a gap of uh, around three years to just care of baby. And after yeah. three months, she she just started again back in the same company I'm working with. So again, again, I'm repeating the same thing. I'm not sure about the India, but like India is also driven by the US and Europe, Europe, European markets with most of the companies like TCS depends on the Europe and the United States project. So their policy also driven to the like the policy are implemented here. So I don't think so if gap will be a issue here, but one more thing again, the skill required, like after three years of gap, you have to show your, show, show your case, like you have a sharpened skill. You did not forget anything. You are still that powerful to develop the software in any any domain. Okay, okay, Parish. And the second one, which has like come up mo mo most of the times, is like, sir, is Java certificate necessary to get jobs in an MNC? Uh, in my last thirteen years, I do not hold a Java certificate because that paper, uh, as per my understanding, is SCJP certificate. Now it's uh, acquired by the Oracle. Anybody yeah. can give that paper by just reading the dump. There is a dump file of the 300 question. Anybody can uh, dump can go that read that dump and pass the certificate. So nowadays, nowadays organization doesn't care about the certification. But yeah, it's always better to if you if you wanted to sharpen your skills somewhere from by doing the certificate, it's always add on. Okay, and one uh, question which has like it is actually a query which says that sir for freshers there are not many openings in the career section page, and if companies have then they demand for so many skills and that is not possible for a fresher to have. So and that is the reason why we are here, right? And that yeah. is the reason why we are because yeah, I know that they always like fresher is there when fresher go for interview the company ask for the experience how fresher will have experience. Company yes. should ask the skills. And if the presser has the right skill, I don't think it will be a hurdle to get the to break the jobs. 
what skill requires fresher has to understand like what skills requires what skills are really green in the markets and what not only one skill you need a bunch of skill as a developer when when i say developer you need right, committing the code from github writing a code writing a query writing a persistent layer writing a microservice you all this need and i think in the our previous side all this technology listed over there you need all this technology to yeah. crack the jobs if you have the technology skill i don't think you you will be uh, you will face any problem yes yes thank you parish thank you and uh, vishant your question what is the starting point for java learning any platform to start so see firstly there are ample amount of resources which are available on the web but if you start learning by yourself it might take you more time compared to what you could do with a mentor or probably a expert who is already like in the industry and who is working on industry based projects so as you know you have youtube also to like learn but uh, most of the times youtube's content is limited to the professional world because it has a lot of limitations as you know so uh, if you check out many other resources like there is uh, there are different websites from which you can of course learn java and of course code gym is also one platform from where you can pursue a course and like go about it so there are ample amount of resources one among those which is actually shown which has actually proven to be very good for students is code gym and you can definitely give it a try and subham i want to add one more point here like yeah. if i go to crack the job and i said uh, someone asked me where did you learn java i say i learned from the myself from the youtube and someone say i learned from some authenticate boot camp like code gym or other boot camp or other university like the the latter scenario will always be authenticated one people will so people will care about you like if you really trained under the expertise and under the good platform yes yes cool so there are good amount of questions coming in i we will answer the rest in some time i want all of you to answer this one for now so which companies need java developers we are looking forward to your responses in the chat section so guys which companies need java developers according to you you can name companies or whatever you think yes abhinay okay zoho okay big four most of mnc okay come on guys let take it as a sport we would like to see it uh, yes uh with that answer i want to add one point any company who are having uh, uh maybe 50 employee need java simple place because they need they, they might have more project and most of the legacy project develop in java technology and python yeah yeah so that that is very uh, uh, specific answer parish thank you for that yeah so generally like uh, or, or now what do you find in all these answers guys see all these are mostly it companies yes. tech companies right <laughs> not only it company subham again financial banking there are thousands yeah. of financial banking available and there so they need software engineers and their software are developed in java only yes yes so may uh, like there is a wide range almost all companies as parish has given us a uh, very good uh, answer that who have 50 plus uh, like employees or which is already uh, near their seed or growth stage they might need java developers they of course need java developers and ahead of course mncs and also are always looking out for java talents in order to develop work on different frameworks work on different applications so yes acha parish i have one good question that i personally also wanted to ask you that uh, python is also gaining a lot of traction these days so what very do good you... question <laughs> yeah very good question like there are two languages if you if you hit the github and po- according to popularity python is literally little uh, little running ahead of the java but only problem is like python is running the algorithm stuff python you cannot develop the giant system in python say for example goldman cannot trust to lend you loans on using the python technology they have java technology so one thing is like most of the financial banking using the java or the python where python is like uh, uh, we can say the taking more precedence the java in terms of algorithm where like uh, need re- literally require the fast algorithm and need to develop code in a similar and shorter code not like giant system then yeah python is like better but again i am telling one point like most of the legacy system develop in java and again this industry need 10 more year next 10 more year to just even get if they wanted to get rid of the java they need 10 year to just migrate so they cannot do their higher dependency right now and java is not something which can be required to migrate it's it offer you almost all feature most of the language offering right now all right all right thank you for clarifying that because this word python has created a lot of buzz in the tech world and like 
many people feel that they should enter into python instead of java so i wanted to clear this misconception that java has its set of opportunities and because java has been in the market for so long so uh, and, there uh, are yeah uh, sorry to interrupt you subham i i don't want to forget this point i just wanted to uh, mention right away one more okay. thing like java why java and why python so for personally speaking nowadays you guys have heard the kotlin kotlin is the baby of java which is still using the jvm and most of the like almost we can say the 65 percentage of the mobile using the kotlin apps all the apps mobile apps develops in a kotlin and kotlin is came from the java it's still using the jvm so if you wanted to move from Java to Kotlin, you will take around 15 to 16 days just to read Java and you can migrate yourself to Kotlin. One more example is the Scala. Scala is also a powerful language which require like, which need, which is really hard to learn if you are not coming from the Java background. So uh, those are the advantage of the Java or the Python. Fantastic, fantastic, Parish. Thank you for giving them that thought that yes, there are different languages, the uh, technologies which are coming up ahead, which are which have fundamentals of Java, like as you mentioned, Kotlin and Scala. So uh, guys, ample amount of opportunities are available in Java. So do not uh, get uh, think more about like, oh, will I get a job if I st still study Java and all. There are opportunities. The only thing is we have to fill in that skill gap and let's do it together now. So just to give you a gist, companies where our students are working currently, so you could see all major brands, right, from Tata, Mahindra, Infosys, Amazon, VMware, Microsoft. So uh, the impact that Code Gym has created till now is uh, really, really wonderful. And we have uh, people from, we have our students, we have our uh, experienced professionals who learn from Code Gym working in USA, India, Poland, Ukraine, Germany, and other countries. And 30 plus Java devs, of course, have are already like working in major IT companies, major big brands, and building in terms of Java. So that's a wonderful achievement, I, I feel. And yes, uh, thank you, Code Gym, for giving us those Java devs till now. Moving on. So, one important question again What are the Java developer career perspectives? Now, I feel someone is playing with that annotate option. I would request, please stop it. Just give me a second. Yes, now I suppose you guys can see it. So uh, yes, I had seen some questions related to freelance. Uh, Parish, how do you, what do you think? Like, uh, is freelance uh, a career for Java developers? How is it? Again, like uh, nowadays, after 2019, I would say like it is a bright opportunity because most of the companies started hiring the short term and long term contractor all over the world. So yeah, freelance uh, developer has now nice, nice opportunity down the line. Okay, okay, fantastic. Uh, guys, as you see the vertical transition uh, flow, so it starts with junior developer, then it goes to middle Java developer, then senior Java developer, and then you can of course go and team lead. These salary ranges which we have mentioned here are mostly the salaries that are being paid in India. But there are opportunities also, as uh, uh, Paresh mentioned, in other countries, also opportunities which are remote. So the packages might vary, might go ahead. But this is like the base pay that is like anyways offered to any Java developer at that particular stage. And escape. So, so how so the... Yeah, Paresh, go ahead. This salary is not like the even India. Nowadays, Amazon, Walmart Labs are offering more than 50, 50 lakhs. So this, this, range, this salary might come from the mid-level uh, what we call organization i can say that Correct. maybe the even even like uh, most of the banks are paying more than this one of most of my friends are working over there in mumbai and bangalore and hyderabad they are getting some amount of the package now the company started giving the same things yeah yeah so there are ample amount of benefits also associated with your salaries like type paid time off and all uh, Parish, uh, would you like just give us a gist like what all fee, uh, like apart from what all things you get in when you work in good companies as a Java developer apart from the salary benefits? So uh, like health oh, insurance has something. <laughs> very good question. It depends on the like again location and like where you work in. Like there, like in United States, they will give you a four hundred one k. They will give you a, a twenty thousand dollar insurance. Your family, okay. entire family will get covered. They will give you a commute benefit they give you a one month like long trip seven day vacation and other stock uh, stock option they give you around 50k uh, their their op their company stock every year so 
benefits are like huge benefit of uh, us companies offering nowadays depends uh -huh. again like which company you are working with like if you are working with like a company which is just do their business for consultant they, they will take their your benefit to in their pocket so it's also depends correct correct so thank you for enlightening us that yes there are ample amount of benefits associated with, with your java profession and it's not just that you just earn that particular package but there are other benefits which are also important for us like our health our family and all so we get vacation and time offs yeah now this is very very important question that is online education effective parish you have any thoughts on this what is online education first of all this is not online education when 13 years of experience is going to teach you the java this is not this is like online is just a classroom nowadays yeah. if you reading on a youtube that is online education if you really joining boot camp it's not a online education it's a virtual education i can say that yes yes so thank you so see now this is what i wanted to like actually a showcase that parish is now currently situated in the states he is in some different time zone i in india we all are in the morning he is probably parish what's the time there right now it's uh, 2 o'clock yes <laughs> so see actually tomorrow is a sunday so it's a, uh, we generally used to sleep midnight later yeah yeah so now you see we have experts who are across boundaries in different time zones and still we are getting access to those talents just because of this online mode this is one very good advantage we are not restricted to like uh, time zones or like you say na ki uh, how is this uh, is professor or probably the mentor available or not parish is in his midnight right now we are in the morning right now so we have access to resources across the globe secondly uh, we can of course interact and connect network with so many talents so now you see we are 150 plus uh, participants as of now in the session and if we just go for that activity which i had suggested before that we could use those hashtags like hashtags live webinar hashtag code gym you see we all will get a chance to network with each other just by sitting at our home or probably just sit by sitting at some other particular location not even traveling anywhere so that is saving a lot of time thirdly you can practice your coding skills with code gym with with any platform of course major platform and with code gym specially you get an opportunity to like get it verified like all your queries and questions how are you really going correct you, you would need some hints to solve the problem and all everything has been taken care of by the platforms then you can join the vast programmers communities so there are ample amount of communities which are available in the market like if you go on discord or you go on telegram there are channels where community programmers come to like just code on different projects code on different problem statements so you get to connect with so many people across and you need to you get to learn so much about their coding you get to learn so much about their uh, culture you get to learn so much about their experience so this is like the benefit of online education compared to offline and yes you can study and parallelly work that is also one very good benefit if i was a full time student at some university i would have to leave all my work and just go to the university regularly to study but now with online we can work and parallelly we can study that is a very good very great advantage i could say that we have and we are luckily blessed to like uh, have switched to this particular mode parish any thoughts i i am totally agree with you like it will be totally uh, this platform will give you a in simple terminology i can use one word flexibility yes so like you will get the flexibility like whenever you will get time like most of the people in the chat i see that people are really working there or some of the student they have their busy schedule even though like with with this platform they can get time like one hour time two hour times so to practice their java to sharpen their java skill anytime there wherever they available or at any point of time i mean yeah yeah so thank you parish thank you for that wonderful thought again and why code gym is best so uh, you the comparison is very easy to map we have live sessions with a mentor and you can access the recorded theory that is possible of course other online courses also provide you with that we have 1200 plus tasks with automatic verification and of solution so we have a very interactive platform you can check it out on codegym.cc 15 plus big projects and real cases in your portfolio after completing the course that's what we provide we have a close slack community of group of students so you get to interact with your batchmates get to interact with your uh, seniors with your juniors so that is also one good thing to network and go ahead you get 24 by 7 help from your personal mentor so you have all time mentor access who can help you in uh, solving all your queries at any point of time 
yes we are in terms of the fees and all we have emis so you can make your payments in monthly installments we have a course completion certificate and this certificate holds a uh, value in the uh, like java professions uh, pro communities because yes uh, that it has it has as you see like 30000 plus students have already passed out and have got the placements so it holds a very good value in the market assistance from our career center and uh, with, with creating a resume of course we will as we have said that we provide you with 100% job guarantee so all your queries related to your career transition all your queries related to your resume your linkedin profile everything that will be taken care of when you reach the career stage and yes we provide a job guarantee we have a 100% job guarantee and for that what is necessary we'll explore in some minutes so just to like again walk through the curriculum and mentors the format is online our language is english the duration of the course is 12 months that is one year and we start on 9th of 9 1 i think the date with this 1st of september sorry it is in the us format so 1st of september 2022 is the start date we start in like just a week from now so um please make sure that this date is 1st of september it's 1 2022 it is written in the us format and now what are we learning about the program what are we going to learn from the program i saw some questions coming up about what are we going to actually learn from this particular uh, thing so it is about like we'll learn about the java syntax in first 12 weeks then we will go to git final project crypto analyzer and post that we will get a chance to explore the java core it has again 12 weeks uh, sessions like you will have whole 12 weeks focused on the java core fundamentals make please, i would like to highlight one point here that it's not just the theory that you would be uh, working on we have 1200 plus exercises that are going to be covered and each of these are distributed as per the complexity levels so you start with the basics then you go to the intermediate stage and then you go to the advanced ones so this process takes time because we have to make you job ready we have to make you profession ready and so just to like speed it up if i have seen some queries coming up like uh, can we speed it up can it be a shorter program <laughs> but if we need a job that you can sustain that you can retain for like the career ahead you will have to study it from scratch in depth from the fundamentals any thoughts parish here yeah totally agree like uh, as we mentioned here like we are uh, going with like projects wise like how uh, uh, java is really being used in uh, real organization so we have a practical approach here and it will be the similar approach like most of the organization is following nowadays so yeah. obviously like project will always track times then the really applying the learning you know correct 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 so uh, this is how the distribution goes then ahead you get a final project and it is followed by 11 weeks module 3 that works more on the java professional side like what all roles and what all things you will have to cater to different aspects of it you then go to the next project that is server let quest contest this is a final project and post that again 6 weeks 4 weeks and 7 weeks so these all are distributed i understand it will be difficult for you to process it at this point of time so whenever you will get a call from our side or probably when you uh, check our website and all you would find detailed curriculum of what all sub topics would be taught and all and of course you will get all the details uh, from our side also so do not need to worry but this is the overall scape just to give you an outline that how we will progress ahead all right and uh, just uh, one thing which i would like to uh, make you all aware about is each module is summed up by a project within the course you are going to uh, write 15 plus big projects which you can further showcase on your portfolio and go for the positions ahead the resumes now this is one critical aspect again because even if you have a lot of experience if you are not able to showcase it in, uh, to the recruiters probably you might get rejected so we take special care in terms of developing your resume in terms of uh, creating it in such a manner that all your important competencies are being highlighted and uh, yes uh, if it with all these important uh, skills and the projects that you going to do you would definitely have a very well decorated resume so we'll take care of it no need to worry so high demand for java developers see the you have access to glassdoor you have access to linkedin jobs you have access to nokri.com which are like very popular platforms to go for hiring in india or of course all, also worldwide you can check out any portal and if you just search for java developer or junior java developer senior java developer as per the range you are into right now so you would find so many opportunities which are lying around there but the thing is that these positions are not mostly filled in because of lack of skilled uh, 
people lack of uh, talents that could actually cater to these roles i understand that most of the times the expectations that companies have from candidates are not 100% a match these are like you would never find a candidate and uh, the company requirements matching fully 100% those are rare cases but most of the times it is a 70 80% 60% fit and rest of the things you can grasp when you take up the role parish what do you think like how uh, is it right or would you like to validate this in some manner yeah it's like um, if the glass door is given that data that will be obviously right linkedin is giving the data that is always better than yeah. like we 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 personally speak about correct correct so uh, there are platforms you can do the research from your end also to make sure that yes the details that you, we are just showcasing right now are valid and they are in the real world so you check out any any platform if you are on linkedin jobs or nokri.com you would find good amount of salary ranges good packages big companies oracle tech mahindra tcs and also if you are going for some foreign brands they all are hiring for java the only thing is we need to find out the relevant opportunity now the 100% job guarantee thing so we assure you we uh, like uh, give you that promise that we will place you and if you don't get a placement we get we will refund you but Uh, when we assure you something we also want some assurance from your side so there are only four steps that you need to do one to land a job in a company a student must fill, fulfill these terms and conditions so you have to attend every live session of the course complete the final projects of each module be- before the deadline pass the examination and strictly follow the recommendations of course mentors and career coaches so this is like anyways expected even in a university when you go and you uh, like are in your final years and all so at that point they expect you to like have that number of attendance then have like complete the projects on time pass the examination and then follow the expectations of the career centers the career coaches so the generic what we have regularly in our what we had or probably we have experienced in our uh, universities in our final years so the same thing that's nothing to change and if you are dedicated if you are if you have that focus enough if you are focused enough to probably like get placed you want to create a career in java it won't be a big thing for you because it is what is mandatory of course anyone would need for it so parish uh, anything that you feel about the job thing that how can they actually uh, like be true to this particular thing so <clears throat> like for me like it's like skill again skills and the right times right time when when we say right time that means you have a skill when the job is open like if you are running behind i don't think you will get the job even though we give you guarantee so yeah. skill is the main essential part of this uh, uh to get the to get the job on time great great thank you parish thank you for adding that part that skill is something that you have to learn that you have to attain in this whole duration and uh, irrespective of the platforms that you're going to learn on a uh, code gym is one institute if you even plan to learn it yourself or probably uh, think about it and you need time to go about it take your time but the only suggestion that we both would give you is that you will have to study you will have to have that directed effort towards learning and uh, with code gym that is possible so as i had mentioned we would have some success stories so these are some real people you can of course check them on linkedin and uh, karthik had like gone through various websites and he but he found code gym was really like uh, something that helped him to do it so his feedback says that he was also not sure whether code gym is just claiming that he will place or probably they will help me but he learned it and now he has got a job so uh, ahmed aziz is again the second one he is from netherlands amsterdam and you can't become a programmer if you only read books yes that's true or else a librarian would have become a programmer <laughs> so that's again one thing and code gym is like one good library a one good resource that could actually help you in gaining your real programming skills then again the more tech testimonials uh, you can like just see that their experience that everyone had a different background and these guys irrespective of their location irrespective of their backgrounds have like got into a good placement have got have attained a corporate job have attained a position as a java developer as per their uh, expertise as per their directions and uh, we are happy to say that these all are code gym students because they have made us proud and we are happy that we are spreading this word across different countries 
and impacting the technical world with the different work that we are doing as a java world in the java world so that's about our success stories and uh, if you want to just like see uh, some ex other success stories like who moved from some other career to particularly into java or something so meet sarkai he was a professional athlete who moved into a career in it so if you are someone who is not from a technical background still you stand a chance here to move into it that's what i want to highlight here that if you don't stand if you do if you are not much into like technical stuff and still if you want to make a career in java that is possible here you can check this person again on linkedin find details about him and he has like taken this profession java profession as his career ahead with codes in that's a wonderful story then we have madina uh, she worked as an economist for many years now she was an economic professional like more on the economic side of it but now she had like also started studying with code gym and has taken up something in java she takes up projects in java so she is working in a junior as a junior developer in a swedish bank so this is also one wonderful story we have this person again who was a builder by education and builder as in you know construction real estate all that stuff but this guy too took up the challenge of changing his career and coming back into it coming into it and like shaping his career building his career i could say rather that would fit his situation and uh, yes he started and that's how he has made his career ahead so you can check out these profiles of course you will find ample amount of them i feel someone is like playing with the control again yeah so who is this course for now this is one important thing that let's like just sum it up so beginners or people with zero knowledge in programming we have industry switchers who want to work in it but want to start a career in java we have java specialist uh, this is for java specialists who want to improve their skills and review the, or review the material innovators who want to dive into programming sphere and get some new knowledge so this course is for anyone who wants to start a career in java even if you are not from pure technical background it's okay we are anyway starting from scratch we will help you build your career in java from point 0 and uh, yes if you want to switch if you are an experienced professional in some other industry and still you want to switch that is also possible so that's about it the pricing part now see exclusive discount offer as i had said so we have uh, we are offering it at 6700 per month that is a monthly fees but as i had said that we would have a special offer for you guys so we have 5000 rupees discount for first month so our support team will get in touch with you and then probably you can just give them the promo code webinar while registering so if you want to like get a call if you want to like register you can fill in the links that are being shared by our team and for the first month you will only have to pay 1700 rupees and you will get an access to live sessions 12000 plus projects or 12000 plus resources 15 plus projects and so much material that's uh, evolving around java which is created by professionals which is created by experts and uh, yes please make a note of this that you will have to give this uh, code webinar promo code webinar to uh, uh, like avail that discount of 5000 rupees so every month it is 6700 for the first month you guys are the special ones who are getting it for five uh, like 1700 only for the first month and rest of the months like it is a 12 month course so that is the whole pricing that we have and we begin on 1st of september this offer is a limited time offer so it is valid only for two days i would request all of you to at least put in an entry uh, on the links which our team has shared so that you can avail this discount and go for it how to enroll in code gym university and get a java developer uh, get a java developer profession so the landing page and this qr code is again to scan you can uh, also there are links which are being posted by our team in the chat section so we will get a support you will get a call from a support team uh, and do not forget to mention this code that is webinar to get additional discount all right we wish you all the luck we know that you uh, are all on different aspects of your career as of now and uh, just to sum it up what we learned today what did you learn from the webinar so did you uh, i hope we learned you had a good time with us 
uh, who is a java developer how much does a java developer earn what prospects of a java developer profession why is online education a better solution how code gym can help you transform into a java developer and get first in the job position these are the things that we have covered i would like to understand it from you guys like uh, how was your experience today so could you just uh, put it in the chat and parish let's have some questions now i see there are ample amount of questions which have popped up in the chat section so yeah so parish i have one question uh, he says sir i have 58% in icsc 10th board and the same in 12th can i become a java developer anyone can job anyone can become the java developer if the right with the right platform and right attitude that's what okay. my answer is okay okay cool secondly uh, as a fresher which companies are better startups or mnc for a java professional that even i am not sure about i don't want to give the answer which i don't know <laughs> okay okay so it depends again like which companies which startups are you with if that startup is already funded and if it has like uh, uh, if it has that kind of resources to like cater to you then that is good but mostly it has been found that mncs are a better choice in terms of security job security so it's like a very gray area which i could say right parish yeah but if you have joined the startup and it becomes like the uber then you will be millionaires within a year so this depends yeah. yeah it depends again it depends let's go to some questions which have come up is hybrid developer hybrid developer a good career option for java developer uh, parish is this hybrid developer uh, is hybrid i suppose he wanted to write hybrid is hybrid developer a good career option for java developer even i don't know what does the what that means hybrid mm, yeah shivam probably you get clarify a little or oh, difference between front end and back end developer yes yes that is also one good question that has come up could you just sum it up for him yeah so back end developer like i don't want to give the technical answer it, because people are still for uh, uh, pressure to java so anything what you see on the website which need to design by the developer is called the front end developer but what don't you see once you submit the request like say for example if you are if you on the facebook and whatever you see on the facebook all all everything designed by the front end developer but when you when you say a post when you click on the post message on the facebook the post the process from accepting the post message from the facebook to the storing to server side is called the back end developer so there are what we call a clear bifurcation like when back end developer come into picture when we receive the request like when you click on the buttons let's say submit button so yeah. and the request come into the server we accept the request and process it is the duty of the back end developer okay okay then uh, he then we have one question sir i'm open enter intern open degree student is it possible to get it jobs i don't get this open intern we'll have to see that then we have another questions guys administrative questions related to payments and also related to class timings would be answered to you when you will get a call from our support team we will have to see where are you like located if you are in india then of course we will have to map it according to indian timings so that can be uh, answered well administrative questions will be answered from our support team and uh, how much dsa proficiency is needed so any or ds means data data science i think data structure he mentioned data structure so it's always good to have but to learn java we don't need data structure data structure is totally different subject and uh, which always have good to have yeah like yeah. to crack the to crack the product product uh, based companies interview you you have some data structure skill in yeah. order to crack it out so that is a primary skill to crack the interview all right nandini i see you have raised your hand could you please ask your question in the chat section thank you uh we have one <laughs> controversial question i could say sir which one is best java or python again i think i already explained that answer but yeah one more time like java like most of the legacy system i have seen develop in the uh, in the java and yeah. next 10 year if you if you wanted to get rid of the java from today it will take next 10 year to get rid of the full java from the market so yeah. opportunity wise both are fine 
but it depends on the company we are where you prefer but the switching is also fine like if you wanted to switch your career from java to python it will be really easier but python to java it won't yeah correct and uh, one thing again i see which has come up what are the skills required for java full stack developer so the ones which um, we had mentioned I, yeah uh, we have mentioned plus we need like as we grow it depends on the company's demands like my company needed like a non sql database too along with the sql database so we have to add some skills based on the jobs which we are planning to do but the basic technology we already listed on our ppt site and those are the main skill as of now in high demand okay okay i have question which has come up sometimes it is from brian it says if i want to learn java because i want to use it as a back end developer for my startup for my own startup is this course right for me so uh, of course yes because, yeah, yeah course. that because this is the way like we have designed the course uh, in project terminal way right like the way real organization using the java Mm -hmm. so this is like a real project so you can use that java to start up to do your startup and to design your own software it's a similar like we it doesn't matter like where you applying our job is to make you really skill work on java you can apply that skill anywhere in the world where have java demands okay okay thank you thank you paresh for that and uh, tanya has already posted the page link you can just put in thank you brian i am happy you like the answer guys questions related to class timings and all as i uh, had already highlighted would be answered by our team and they will answer it to you don't worry we will have to like under, understand your timings because uh, there is th this whole audience has a a mixed crowd like some people are working some are like students so we'll have to fix it so uh, we, uh, once we get on calls with you we will map it out and accordingly we can schedule the uh, class timings again uh, um, how to start give us some basic startup ideas that is again in java so uh, would you like to say something here i don't think it's a java question it's like a, they are that guy is asking startup idea yeah <laughs> this platform <laughs> yeah so again uh, then we have one second i'm just checking the some previous questions and sir i'm working in a bpo and i want to learn java move into it is it possible Is of course, it is possible. Video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is right. That is the reason why this course is designed. Cool, cool. And uh, we have a question from Vibhav. He says, "I just want to learn learn Spring and Hibernate because I already know core Java. So can I join a program after six months when Hibernate will start?" Vibhav, I feel uh, this question can be answered by our team. And uh, to like just yeah. sum it up for you as as per our uh, like understanding. i feel that you uh, this course is specially meant for the ones who have mostly no exposure probably want to learn everything from scratch still uh, our support team will be the best to answer this for you all right uh, thank you vamsi i am happy that you like this thank you shivam you hosted the good webinar i would like to thank paresh actually because he is in his midnight and he has given us time today to uh, like explore this so thank you very much paresh and i see one question again i had big gap now and i, I have a year as a qa can i move ahead i had a big gap now and i just uh, got hired as a qa can i move ahead like qa he is working as a qa i suppose so, so it's better like uh, for me like my answer to that guy is like he already have a job and yeah. if he's working as an qa there are there might be some opportunity within the red car organization he just need to show his skill like i am i have i possess java skill like so yeah. if he going up he thinking to develop the java skill i think he will get the the same job just Correct. career switch i means within the same organization perfect perfect thank you thank you for that and uh, guys i would like to understand how like how was the session for you so uh, one important notice before you go for that so our team has already posted uh, the request link so you could just visit that link and put in your entries there Uh, in case of any other questions also related to the profession related to your careers related to the course timings and all everything will be answered don't worry at all and uh, yes paresh and i are also here you can connect with us on linkedin probably if you need some more specific answers to your questions we could be happy to help and uh, yes i feel this was nice i would suggest uh, if possible we would like to have one word about the webinar that you had today so in the chat section if you want to write more that's fine but at least a word from each one of you who is present here right now how was the session 
and i hope uh, we could give you something that could actually help you in at least thinking that java is also one good option to like start a career in of course uh, uh, code gym has uh, created all this uh, what you could say impact in the world across the world and uh, we are lucky to like uh, have got this opportunity to like share this with you guys so i hope we did our job well so i see comments coming up as good informative great session was good fantastic nice okay okay guys uh, i understand that we were not able to like tackle all your questions because the count was 150 plus but still if you like if we have made a note of all your questions and those would be answered to you uh, when we will get in touch with you probably on a call call or probably on email on chat so don't worry your questions will be answered okay i have one question from mayank what all projects we can make in java as a beginner so uh, parish you could answer that any projects like let's say for example just lending uh, loan platforms that is a okay. real real project like just visit the nearest bank just ask about like what exact the front end bank is doing yeah. they are how they are lending the loans how they are accepting the loan application so yeah. i i mean here like try to develop some project which is really close to real life and real uh -huh. world yeah which will which will help which will help you really to create the job because you can showcase your project and you can upload that code to github which will be helpful down the line when some interview asks like what is your previous experience if you do not have any experience but if you have developed project really well coded well and deployed well in github then you can showcase that knowledge too okay okay cool cool so thank you for that uh, guys any more questions we are here for more like 5 10 minutes maximum so if you have any questions feel free to ask we would like to have this more as an interaction rather than just a presentation that is the reason uh, during the whole presentation you must have observed that our main focus was to get it from the expert directly so if you have any questions please ask now very nice question java mobile development I'll, I'll, I'll... I think I already gave the answer around 60% of the any application apps, I mean, not application apps develop in um, Google Play or Android or, or on the iOS develop in Java plus Kotlin. So what is Kotlin? Kotlin is a little baby of Java, which mm -hmm. is getting famous nowadays and which is still using the Java core and JVM in the background. So yes, yeah, most of the application will be able to, uh, uh, you will be able to develop in uh, Java which is using the mobile. All right. All right. Can you tell something about Java mobile development? So that is answered. And uh, I, yeah, uh, one thing I wanted to ask you personally, Paresh, like uh, how is game development a career with Java? Like uh, what are the aspects to it? Uh, I think I do not have the answer of the question because I have never into the game industry. So I don't want to give the audience a wrong answer and wrong okay, impression. Okay. Yeah, but uh, like uh, the, I I read it somewhere in the article that it said that probably uh, Java has also been one important component of the development industry in the gaming side. So I just had that to ask. Yeah, you. Uh, yeah. yeah, obviously Java is everywhere. That's what my understanding too. But I I do not have any real experience on the gaming okay. platform. All right, all right. And I see how much databases, knowledge, and query languages are required for a Java developer. A real, really, really good question. This is what yes. like we're gonna teach it. Like we need, we need real, real working knowledge of SQL and Oracle or any relational database. Because as when we see the Java developer, it's not only Java developer. It's a backend software engineer. We we are two engineer, front end engineer and the backend engineer. Yeah, when you are Java developer, that means you are the backend developer or backend software engineer. So when we say the backend software engineer. We need full stack technology, like accepting the request from the server, storing into database, processing it, and displaying in the front of the user in terms of report or in terms of any analytics dashboard. So you need that knowledge too. Like that okay. is a very basic, 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 basic skill you have to gain along with the Java in order to create the jobs. All right. All right. Great. And uh, I think we have answered almost all major questions. Mm. looking at it class timings and all questions will be answered guys so that is fine yeah one thing uh, which has like 
is come upon two three questions is language a barrier in java like english uh, is important to know like if you want to code in java is english a very top prerequisite or how is it uh i am not sure about the what is the trends india in india is going on but yeah if you wanted to crack job outside of the india english is the only language where you can communicate with the team yeah so it is a essential you know, skill but that doesn't mean like you need to be like in a presenter way you are not marketing person you are the developer you need coding skill not okay. english skill but yeah it depends on where you working whom you are interacting with because english is the common language where all people are interacting to design and to gather the requirement so it's a essential essential component to uh, to get the international job i mean yes. i'm not sure about the india like people uh, when i was in tata consultancy sir we were speaking in hindi we don't believe me we were literally using the hindi yeah uh guys i have just shared uh, links to connect with paresh you can check out codes in website if you have any questions for me you can ask connect with me on linkedin so that's about it i hope uh, we have almost answered everything and tanya has already shared the landing page link for more information about the course so everything will be answered no need to worry so fine so paresh any last thoughts we before we wind up i think i want to add here uh, people should start asking the question on a linkedin i think uh, i won't be able to give the answer on the linkedin the right channel is our code gym support where yeah. people should start asking the question because i i i do not need job right now so i never log in into linkedin so <laughs> my answer answer will get little, little little death response so please do not submit any query on linkedin profile okay okay Cool, but, but yeah, yes. LinkedIn profile is just oh, yeah. You you can visit the LinkedIn profile. You can see my career uh, progress over there and the skills mentioned there. Great, great. And sir, I will I be a, eligible for Java Junior Developer after that much gap working for QA and that too as a QA manual. Could you see that question? Probably if you could make out of it, Parish. Yeah, it's the same same thing. Like uh, ah. you do not have a skill, you are here to develop your skills. And uh, again, same thing as like a pressure. like you are working as qa that also almost equal to the pressure in terms of java development because you do not have any java knowledge so you need java technology skill to get sharpen first and then we can hunt the job market later cool and i bye bye uh, that one will be answered from our support team and one will let's take the last question for today is is c language a prerequisite to java or uh, can be learned directly no java java doesn't require any language to learn uh, as a prerequisite but yeah c is the always we say like mother language of every other language but nowadays only a mother not a language <laughs> okay okay fine so guys uh, thank you very much i hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, feel free to like ask any questions on the pages which uh, martania has shared a team has shared already i am just dropping in the link once again for you so that uh, you guys can check it and register there and uh, yes i hope we had a wonderful time thank you paresh for joining in and uh, it was wonderful to interact with you to learn so much about your experience in terms of java in terms of your whole career prospect and uh, from my side also i enjoyed it any thoughts lastly paresh <clears throat> i think again i just want like everyone every indian has seen that movie three idiots right you need skill again the same the dialogue i want to repeat you need skill to get your career a perspective like to get career anywhere in the world you need skill even though you you are from iit or i am if you do not have a skill you will be get fired definitely for sure in in this is this is how job market works without skill you cannot work without degree yes you can great great so as we already have a saying in it that to get a job probably it is possible but to sustain in a job or to retain that job is a real challenge in it and with skills you can definitely do it so go for it guys we look forward to see you on the platform and all your questions will be answered all right so uh, support team is taking care of uh, your details and probably like answering all your queries back to you via chat via mail so thank you it was wonderful meeting you all and uh, see you on the course bye bye take care thank you thanks everyone bye thank you bye